Ahoy there and welcome to the Laneverse. I am the Madam Laneverse. And today, I'm talking about brand building. Or rather, the art of brand building. As that is what this channel is about, is me, the free madam, mastering many arts. Kind of the point of a YouTube channel is to build a brand. All businesses, anything that generates money to get known, yada, 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 yada. I'll be sharing what I'm doing with that. So there are new things, not so new things, in the grand scheme of what was in my previous videos. So I'm covering this channel as well as my cannabis art innovation firm that I've kind of tweaked that I think is more so like an internal tweak more than anything and my new communications consultancy um, I'm getting into voice over work um, in a couple weeks so I'll talk about that even though it's not really a part of the brand <laughs> it is just a list of the things that I've done. So with Seam, I encounter many people who are slashies into multiple things, not just choosing the one niche, the one skill set path. It's just easier to build a brand when you have focus on one thing. It's mainly about not just you, but what you want people to know you for. People get like easily confused with too much information. Playing on a brand or niche, one line of work, it's, you can still do the other things on the side. It's just all about how you're presenting yourself for other people so they're not easily bamboozled and confused by so many things. People just say that shit because other people say that shit because <laughs> Why be an individual? You become top of mind of like, oh, so-and-so does this. So I'll hit them up for this. Or, oh, I've heard this person wants this. So I can connect them. That kind of deal. So ultimately, my whole thing has been centering being an art and mastering different arts. There's many types of arts. Having the communications consultancy is, it's the art of communication and mastering that. It's the art of content marketing and the art of business all wrapped up in one even with cannabis that's the art of cannabis the science the information consumption all that all this knowledge that i have gathered from making content for cannabis brands it's paid training that i am applying because so i find cannabis brands talk about the same shit ad nauseum these motherfuckers keep talking about the same thing so that's why i came up with my brand the endo can band because i'm like okay can, can somebody recontextualize this or repackage this in a new way can everybody stop like losing their shit oh my god terpenes this is such great original information but i digress so that's why i have the endo can band you know seeing there are some op art opportunities in the cannabis industry. You know, I have the service available, but I'm not really pushing it, I'm pushing my product. Because again, people, I have had people starting to reach out to me or from introductions and stuff like that. I think you're an artist. And I'm like, oh, you're thinking correctly. So that's the whole thing with brand building. Again, it's it's essentially your reputation. That it's your reputation of how you wanna bring money in. <laughs> and I wanna bring money in with art my products or doing some big shit for a brand I got the budget for it. because why am I gonna work on your shit for a couple hundred dollars when I can just do my shit and make that money like, come on. I mean that is also a part of the brand building is establishing your value there's like some self-worthiness and defining that and again what that means for you for me, I am a world-class artist and not just an artist in that I make cool things because to me, I still got a long way to go to match the standard that I want to get to. But as a business, again, if I'm going to take the time away from my stuff that people are feeling and I have products 
or I also have just expertise available. I am like the source of greatness. Being world-class means world-class pay, means a premium. So that is a part of the brand building. It is like a process and again, how you show up, how I'm putting my work into the world, how I'm promoting myself, who I'm associating with, how I'm packaging what I offer, all that. And so that people get the idea that you cannot come to me for cheap things. Or you can, I won't laugh in your face, but I don't really have anything for you if you're cheap or you expect something for free, or you think you can exchange like exposure with me, like, fuck out of here with that. <laughs> it's like building a pyramid. It's, you, you can't just be at the top, but you gotta build the foundation, you gotta build each layer. So, all of these things are kind of stacking onto each other, where it, there are, e there's each section of a pyramid, but ultimately, the pyramid is known for its whole. It's the paradox of existence, of the small parts make the big part. The big part is made of the small parts. All is one and one is all kind of deal. So, the pyramid, the all, is all of this goes under artists, laniverse. And because like the laniverse is based off of being my own universe, my own realm of existence, that's... Um, how humans, I think, optimally function. The ground foundation is, um, it was cannabis, but that's become more of a mid foundation where the bottom foundation is now going to be my communications consultancy because that's where I'm getting the income from. That's, I'm helping people in a way that I believe best suits me and thus I can provide the utmost value and the most impact for the right people and then next up is uh, the Indo Kanban, Faded Lane services, stuff like that because I already have that established but because I'm selling products, it's a whole different thing selling the art services, it's a whole different thing so that's kind of, I don't know, that could kind of be part of the bottom but yeah, I guess like whatever. The next stack is the Indo Kanban, me selling products, stuff like that. Made some I got an ebook, a workbook for the consultancy, which his name is Elaine the Muse Communications. Or ATM Comms Consultancy. Because it's my personal ATM. <laughs> but <laughs> and then I'm working on like a monetization guide to sell through it. Um you know, for people to figure out how to monetize things and build the systems, yada, 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 like I'm doing. And then also like Lanaverse products, which I will be talking about closer to summer, maybe like June, May. Definitely by July. So I have two podcasts. Well, ATM comms, I'm starting a podcast. I have the Faded Breaks podcast, which is a part of Faded Lane, that brand, cannabis, anime. That's that whole brand. Those are parts of me. Those are part of the universe. Those are part of me being an artist. Um, and then at the top, I guess we have the universe, which is just me thriving because I made this <laughs> and people supported it and gave me. We exchanged labor and value and magic. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, building a brand is having a plan and right now, I'm not going to give you the whole fucking plan, but I'm going to show you what I'm rigmaroling, what I've been putting together, where I'm at right now, because I am at, I'm not an infant, I'm not an infancy, I wouldn't even say toddler stage, we're a solid child, like maybe 10 years old, about the enter preteen with all the shit that I'm putting together. And I think once I have all the content going and it's on like a solid schedule, I may, it may have become an adult at that point. Or it might be in college. I don't know. Maybe it's like an adult when the money's flowing in easily from me not putting out more labor. But yeah, let me show you what I got. So what I got is the official Laniverse website, laniverse.com. That link will be in the description. And this is the hub for all things Laniverse, as well as 
merch based on the poster that I have in the background. But ow, I have ways to support me, which is this Kofi website where I guess you can subscribe monthly or just tip me a little something something if you're picking up what I'm putting down. But as for the merch, this is an illustration I created years ago that people really fuck with. So if you want that black woman roaring your life, here are the options with which to do it on my Threadless site. I got it in a couple different colors, a couple different formats. As you can see that I am showing you here. This is also to give a display of how to access it because it confuses some people. But then we go into all my designs and I have the Indo Kanban here, which I will be selling all of the apparel merchandise on this site. This is what I have so far and I will cover more of this in the next video. But yeah, this is what I'm building out, introducing the entire band. And clearly since I got Buku money for all these websites, here's the Indo Kanban website. Where, as you can see again, the direct pages to the merch, but also for you to learn about the brand, about the band, and to join the official email newsletter. And let's get into the art innovation firm that I run in the cannabis hemp and psychedelics industries that Kanban is under. This is going to be reformatted into my premium illustration service. But that's the layout, the process, all the goods. And yeah, it's an art and content site. So to add to the content, well, the website wasn't working right. Here we go. <laughs> this is the Faded Breaks podcast, the original cannabis and anime experience. More on the podcast next vlog. Moving on to my communications consultancy, Land and News Communications, where I help entrepreneurs do communicable things. I have two ebooks one that I'm getting set up, the next one I am writing. For the consultancy, I have yet another podcast called ATM Comms that I am repurposing from. Forged by Faded, which was for Faded Lane. And then I will be repurposing it for medium.com to big and blog for hit up laneverse.com. That is that for the brands that I'm building and the art involved with it. Do a little series through the month of April as well. Because I wanna <laughs> have all this wrapped up before May and I don't know I think it'll be a cool, cool little journey before I get back to like something worthwhile to show for guitar video because I am looking to get back into playing Junketsu. I've been looking at some songs, looking to get a pedal, uh, I guess a distortion pedal but I'm not gonna make y'all suffer for my inexperience. I can do a more in-depth, a follow-up language one, because the last video I did, I just put it together. Because I didn't post anything in February. I had so much going on. I just wanted to get a video out. So I will do a follow-up language learning one. And you know, that'll be spectacular. And then one on cooking. My kitchen is a mess. I can't be having motherfuckers judging me, being distracted from the beauty and deliciousness that I'm making. Yeah, I hope it was very insightful, interesting. You may or may not see my vision of how these things are all gonna line up, or how they're gonna all pan out. But that's the point of having your own motherfucking life and vision is it's not going to make sense to you. It's not supposed to. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm the only motherfucker on this planet who's going to know what I'm doing. Greatest life lesson that is coming from this entire channel is that I'm the only motherfucker who understands this shit. And some people will be like, oh, I like it. But they're going to really like it once it's reality. Feel free to stop by the official Lanaverse website. 
which I guess I'll do like a formal excited video about it. Look, I'm just like work, work, churn it out, churn it out. I have my little, my little mini celebrations. You can celebrate for me by going to the website, send me some support, follow me on certain channels, push the shit that you feeling. Even if it's a bit mid, help me out some. Oh, this is to me, it's all being an artist. If there are certain things that relate to you, go on down the ATM comms route for my help. If you're into canvas things, canvas and anime, and you want to taste both worlds and my art, go down that route. Go down the faded lane route. If you want to hire me for voice over work or see what I'm doing on Upwork, Feel free to do so because I will not be promoting that. You don't have to keep up with everything that I am doing. Follow what is most relevant and interesting to you. Just, I appreciate the support. If you want to support financially, there's the Kofi website. Yeah, consider liking, comment wisely, share with love, and I will see you on the correct date <laughs> that this goes out. April 1st. Not even an April Fool's joke. See you before. <laughs> you good?